42 pages of procedural paperwork giving a new glimpse into the minutes after the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy and the fast-paced investigation that immediately followed. In a recent exclusive interview, lead detective Tom Casey credits the community's quick action. We arrested Daryl Brooks within a half hour, and that's because of the people of Waukesha. You have Abdel Lascano that saw the car, recognized it from the parade. He ran back a half mile to tell police, hey, I saw the car. The search warrant says an officer then, quote, escorted Lascano in his police squad, and Lascano directed him to the location where he located a red Ford. Daryl Brooks, representing himself at trial, called this witness to the stand. Did you see the driver of this SUV you're referring to? Yeah, you're standing right there. Once in custody, the search warrant says Brooks did not have a cell phone on him, but did, quote, possess a motor vehicle key, which was later found to be the correct ignition key to the damaged red Ford. By the next day, the search warrant records indicate police had at least one witness photo, quote, which showed Brooks in the driver's seat of the red Ford Escape. All of this key evidence helped lead to this moment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty. Just one week ago. Well, Hannah, investigators also searched the home of Brooks's mother. Yeah, so in one of the warrants, his mother told investigators she did not allow Brooks in her home due to his past violence. He was allowed, though, to keep some belongings there, and investigators found two cell phones from that warrant. Hannah Hilliard reporting live in the newsroom tonight.